beautiful design, spacious with good storage, and even a few unexpected surprises. I'll show you why this was the best balcony cabin we've ever had. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now all cruise cabins are definitely not made equal and when it came to the premium cruise lines, Holland America's new Stadendam, their veranda cabins in our view were just the very best sort of standard balcony cabins that we've ever had. Now I'm gonna show you around the cabin. I'm gonna show you some highlights, including the storage, the bathroom, the balcony, what to expect and those unexpected little surprises. And I have a little bit of a bonus for you. If you are planning to cruise on Holland America's new Stadendam or if you're looking at another Pinnacle class cruise ship, but you're not sure that you do want to have a veranda cabin or maybe you have other people that are sailing with you that are interested in interior cabins, I'm going to be showing you a sneak peek at the interior cabin as well. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative or enjoyable in any way, then please please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. So taking a first look at our cabin, we were in cabin number 6176. It was absolutely beautiful from the moment that we walked in, seeing the color scheme, how light and airy it was with a little bit of a pop of color, just absolutely beautiful. You could see right away how spacious it is, how light the coloring is of the furnishings. And of course, how the star of that cabin is that veranda. Looking outside, I was just imagining that incredible ocean view. Now our cabin was located towards the aft of the cruise ship, not far away from the elevators and stairways. And this was a very quiet location. We also liked this location because we were able to easily go up to the buffet, to the Lido deck and the pool. And it was also a good location to go to the dining room and to deck two and deck three, where you would have your shows and musical venues. Now the decor in this veranda cabin is traditional, but it feels modern and light as well. The bed was extremely comfortable. And you can see that we also have a sofa, which was a nice place to sit if we were not on our balcony. We also had friends in for a glass of champagne and some little hors d'oeuvres before we went to dinner on formal night and we were able to entertain on our balcony and as well in the little seating area around the couches. Now the storage really blew me away. Now we were just two people in this cabin, my husband Frank and myself, but we had more than enough storage. You can see that the closets are large and you do have a full length mirror when you do open up that closet door. You have several drawers, shelves, and even night tables next to the bed that have small drawers and a shelf as well. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of a storage secret in just a minute. If you are on a long cruise, you'll probably appreciate having that extra storage or if you are more than two people in the cabin. Now at the desk or the vanity area, you had some small drawers and inside of the drawers you'll see that you have a hair dryer and you have a makeup mirror as well. Now as you open up some of these closet doors you're going to see that you have your safe you have a mini fridge as well so it's really not a very obvious place that that fridge is but it's right over there if you do need it and you also have these glass cupboards and this corner cupboard that could be good to just put some of your odds and ends or even your cruise essentials. Now, when it came to keeping organized in our cabin, it was pretty easy to do so. There were a couple of hooks right on the bathroom door, so those were good for our robes. And we also had, I think it was two hooks on the wall as well. Now, I did still add my magnet hooks because I could just almost not have enough of them. Um, I was able to put a couple of magnet hooks uh, to hold my lanyard and some other items, even to dry bathing suits, some things like that. So we did use a few magnet hooks. And I also brought my pop-up hamper just to keep my dirty clothes. Now I'll show you the bathroom in just a minute and of course the veranda, but I did wanna show you these couple of sort of secret storage spots, if you will. Now one of them, I guess is not really a secret, it's storage space right above the couch. Now there are actually your life jackets that are in there, so you may not wanna move them, but I guess if you have a long cruise and you have a lot of items, that could be a place that you could use for storage. You could just talk to your cabin attendant about that, but the real, secret place that I didn't even know about and another guest on the cruise, another passenger told me about, I had to take a look, is under the bed towards the front, you'll have these drawers. Now in our drawers, I saw that there were some towels in there, but if you needed that space 
for storage than you do have it. And of course, the bed is high enough that we were able to put our luggage right under the bed. Now, taking a look at the bathroom, one of the things that I really loved about this bathroom is the fact that that shower is quite large and you have those glass doors. And by the way, if you are in an interior cabin, you would have the same size bathroom. So that was pretty impressive. Now, when it comes to some of the storage in the bathroom, there was maybe a little bit of storage lacking. You do have some small shelves, so you can keep some items there. But I did use my hanging toiletry bag to keep some of the items that I needed as well underneath the sink you don't really have a lot of storage area so just keep that in mind now like most other premium cruise lines you do have your shampoo conditioner and shower gel all separate so that was provided and by the way it was the elemis brand and you also had elemis soap hand soap and lotion next to the sink. Now going out to the veranda, of course, it was absolutely gorgeous. However, just something to note is you don't have sliding doors like you have on some cruise ships. In this case, you have a door that opens. So if you do like to keep that sliding door sometimes open and just letting the breeze kind of come right in, you can't really do this in this cabin but the veranda was absolutely beautiful and it's a little bit more spacious than other standard balconies that we've had. And you can see that the furniture even has a little ottoman, just really a nice touch. Now you might be wondering about what to expect even in terms of your cabin attendant and the service and what are those little extra surprises that I mentioned. So firstly, in terms of the service in your cabin, we had service twice a day. So we had a cleaning in the morning and we had a turn down uh, in the evening. Now we were asked by our cabin attendants when we met them on embarkation day if we would prefer once a day service or twice a day service. We do prefer twice a day service so that turn down sometimes we'd like to change our towels. Sometimes we've been out for an excursion and the cabin can get a little bit dirty, just a little bit. And um, of course we did mention that if it really wasn't very dirty, they could just do a quick cleanup. They didn't mind at all. And we really appreciated that service. And just something to mention is we did have friends on the ship that said that they felt bad to ask for twice a day service, but then they realized that with all of the different excursions that they kind of needed it. So they did retroactively ask their cabin attendant to come twice a day. Now, some really nice things that are in the cabin is we noticed that there were these glasses that were in the cabin so stored in those glass cupboards so there were champagne glasses and other glasses there was an ice bucket so that was something nice now something else is that Holland America does give you little chocolates on your pillows those are those little touches that to me make cruising very special and I think it was probably about two or three times that we did have these cute little towel animals now something just to mention I know people sometimes wonder are they wasting towels and it seemed like they were reusing those same towels to just form them into new animals and our cabin attendant would put glasses on them and different things like that and he really seemed to get a little bit of a kick out of it because sometimes the next day he would actually ask us about it and we really appreciated our cabin attendants they were amazing now I do have a little bit of a bonus for you we were able to take a look at an interior cabin that was right across the hall from us that wasn't being used so of course we did ask for permission but we were able to take a little look so that I can show you. So you can see that the interior cabin is very similar to the veranda or the balcony cabin. In terms of the decor and the storage, what you do not have in the interior cabin is you don't have that sofa seating area. So it definitely feels smaller, but it's still an absolutely beautiful cabin space. So if you are looking to sail on Holland America and maybe to save a little bit of money, this is definitely a good option. Now, if you are planning or thinking of taking a cruise on Holland America, I do have a very honest review of our cruise on Holland America's new Staten Dam. I will leave that for you to watch next. I hope that you did enjoy this video. Please let me know if you've ever sailed on Holland America's new Staten Dam or one of the other Pinnacle class ships, or if you are planning to, please let me know down in the comments below along with any other questions that you may have. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.